Test number two, this time with gobs of thread locker. I wonder what those cracks are in there. Doesn't look too good. Oh well. Not sure if I used too much thread locker or what here, but uh, it's definitely not coming off. I have both of the little pins out and it's just stuck on there like crazy. So uh, yeah, I guess I'll uh, try something else next time. Just wanted to make sure that my uh, meter did not change a lot based on a uh, frequency, and it looks like it doesn't. So around 60 hertz at volts AC, it's 7.6 volts, 600, 7.6. Starts to drop off a little bit at 1K, but I'm pretty sure that three-phase motor isn't going that fast. It's another test. This one is with the springy bearing, and we're going to see if the thing tears itself apart, and I have an oscilloscope hooked up so I can watch it. My friend Jen just pointed out there was a high-pitched sound. I think I found out what it is. The bearing is still attached to the uh, the motor, but it's not very well attached to the engine. So you can see that uh, if I hold the motor still, the bearing does not move. So just checking the range. I haven't touched the range at all. Right now I have this DC supply here, and I can go all the way down. And we can see that that's about where it was on the bottom end, maybe about there. If I go all the way up, well, it was a little bit higher than that on the top end, but um, that means that we're probably getting about 40 something volts peak to peak, which is higher than the rated rating for the motor. So it means I don't think we can really rev the thing as much as I was hoping. But we'll see how much power we can get from it. <laughs> 